Good morning. Welcome to our devotional for this morning. Who does God's servant pronounce woes on? Today we're at Jeremiah 23, verses 1 to 4, as we continue through the chronology of Jeremiah. Here's what it says. Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord God of Israel against the shepherds who feed my people. You have scattered my flock, driven them away, and not attended to them. Behold, I will attend to you for the evil of your doings says the Lord. But I will gather the remnant of my flock out of all countries where I have driven them and bring them back to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. I will set up shepherds over them who will feed them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, nor shall they be lacking, says the Lord. So now we shift to Jeremiah 23, and it very much seems that we're still in those very few months of the rule of Coniah, 597 BC. He's also Jehoiakim, same person. So the woe is on the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. We might assume that this is against the priests or against the false prophets, or today we might apply this just against the pastors. But the shepherds here are all the leaders, the leaders of the main institutions of society. In other words, the the princes and the rulers, the king, the false prophets, the priests, all the leaders of the culture, they are all the false shepherds. That's who God's wrath is coming up against here. You see, the very pillars of society, in this case, virtually all the sections, They've virtually all gone corrupt. So these are the leaders of the different institutions. God dispersed his authority among these different sections of the culture, but in this case, virtually each section has gone corrupt. Each section has kind of pursued their own petty agendas for things instead of God's agenda. And so now God's going to sweep the slate clean. He's going to overturn the whole thing and regenerate his kingdom. They've despised decades of warning, and so now God is sending the Babylonians to humble them. He's going to sweep away all these shepherds. Eventually, the people will come back from captivity, and God will give them leaders who will lead them in the right way. So now you and I, as as members of God's flock, we want to be very careful what we're hearing, what we're receiving from the different leaders of the different institutions around us, spiritual and secular, so to speak, secular. In the case of the kingdom of Judah, the people pretty much listened to all these false shepherds, and now the whole nation is going to pay the price because Thousands and thousands will be swept away in captivity to Babylon. Always compare what you're hearing with the word of the Lord, with the Bible, so you'll be able to decide for yourself which shepherds are true and which ones are false based on the word of God. This never gets old. It's never something that we don't have to do. We can all just suddenly just trust everybody. We always need to be alert if we're going to be true followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray together. Your Father in heaven, We want to be right, but there are false shepherds afoot. They're out there doing their thing. Help us, Lord, to be right. Help us to go by your word. Help us to live a Christian life, even if things seem to go astray at high, middle, or low levels or different different parts of the culture that we are living in. Help us, Lord, to be wise about the shepherds and to be faithful followers of you and your kingdom, no matter what else is going on. Lord, we ask for you to help us with this. In Jesus' name, amen. And so woes are pronounced against false leaders, and you and I are called to be very careful and very definite about following God in his ways. God be with you today as you serve him today.